Okay, this is biological treatments for OCD. Um, and we've looked at the biological explanation, obviously the genetic explanations and the neural explanations. So now we're looking at if we believe that the OCD has got a biological cause, how do we go ahead and treat it? So the first thing we're going to look at is called chemotherapy. And that's just basically the fancy way of saying we, we give someone drugs to take to cure their, um, their disorder. Uh, you may have heard that term in uh, connection with cancer, but it's just a gen generic term that means someone is taking drugs, chemotherapy. Now, um, the first type of uh, drugs that can be prescribed to help with OCD is something called SSRIs. You might have heard of this one in context of um, depression, because it's also used to treat depression, and that's what it's well known for. Um, but what it does, you can see from the name, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. What it actually does, you can see in this diagram, the, ser the purple dots of the serotonin, they're being released into the synapse here. In ordinary cases, what happens is they bind to the receptors on the postsynaptic neuron and they stimulate it. And then um, they are released back into the synapse and they're taken back up into the presynaptic neuron. Now, in um, people with both depression and OCD, for whatever reason, you don't have enough serotonin in the synapse. We looked at that last lesson, the fact that serotonin is going to be low in people with OCD. And that might be because not enough has been released into the synapse. It might be because it's being reabsorbed too quickly. Whatever the reason, there's too little in the synapse. And so it's not stimulating the postsynaptic neuron enough. So what an SSRI does, that's this red thing here, it blocks this, um, this transporter molecule and then what can happen is the serotonin is released into the synapse, it binds to these receptors but it's not taken back up into the presynaptic neuron. So what happens is gradually the levels increase in the synapse so then more um, serotonin binds to these receptors and stimulates the cell so you raise the levels back up to what they should be. So hopefully that um, all makes sense and we'll go over that process again in the lesson in case you've not understood it. But I think you'll be alright with that. Um, so just to add some um, extra detail to that, um, this is one example of an SSRI called fluoxetine. Um, and normally it's given in doses of 20 milligrams taken daily. Um, it takes up to three to four months to have any effect. If you think about that in the life of someone with OCD, that's quite significant, quite a long time. Um, if it's still not having any effect at that point, it can be increased up to 60 milligrams. Um, and, or you can try a different drug at that point. So they give you all this detail in the, um, the textbook. I assume because you may, it's possible you'd be given an example of someone who's being treated and what are their options. So that's some detail about how SSRIs are actually given. And then here are the other drugs mentioned. This is basically like an older type of SSRI, uh, a tricyclic um, is the name for it. And one example is clomipramine. Um, it's just got a similar effect. Um, and the reason it's not used first is that it's got more side effects. So in general, patients are tried first on um, SSRIs, if they don't work, they would then try a tricyclic um, because the, the side effects are quite significant of these, and we'll go over those in a minute. And then the third type is an SNRI, which is just serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. Um, and that's all about the same process again, but including noradrenaline. So those are the three types of drugs that can be given to treat OCD. SSRIs, um, tricyclics, SNRIs. Okay. Now, if we move on to the evaluation for this area, the good thing, or one of the good things about um, giving drugs is that they are effective. So I've put some detail here for you. Um, Sumro reviewed loads of different studies and found uh, across quite a large number of studies that um, SSRIs were better than placebos. So that's good. That suggests that they are actually having an effect. Um, Typically, about 70% of patients respond to SSRI, so it's quite a high success rate. Um, and then of those last 30, some will respond to other drugs or a combination of drugs and psychological treatments. So most people will find that some kind of drug therapy, some kind of chemotherapy is successful for them. However, 
The problem with that is that this evidence is often sponsored by drug companies who maybe are a bit selective in what they report. So it's worth bearing that in mind. And for that reason, some psychologists don't trust chemotherapy as a therapy at all. Um, sometimes OCD follows a trauma. If you remember, we talked about the diathesis stress model, the fact that someone might be um, predisposed to developing it, but then it's triggered by an event in their environment. So in that kind of case, or where it's you know following a really big trauma, drugs maybe are not appropriate. It may be more a case of dealing with the, the trauma that they've uh, experienced. Um, another good thing is that they're cheap. I, I know that uh, maybe you think, I'm not going to give you a value, not cheap, cheap, but compared to psychological therapies, they're cheap. If you think about the cost of having one-on-one -on -one therapy with a psychologist for uh, like weeks and weeks, I know my friend um, is receiving cognitive behavioural therapy and that's costing her £90 a session um, and is probably subsidised as well. That's really, really not cheap at all. So um, drugs are cheap compared to psychological therapies and it's important to remember that one because if you remember one of the things for research methods is you have to be aware of psychology and the economy. If, um, if we know that we've got a cheap therapy that works, um, it's good for the economy to be giving offering on the NHS that therapy rather than the more expensive one. Um, it's easy to take take drugs to cure a, um, a, a, a mental illness. Um, if you, we, we haven't done psychological therapies for OCD, but they are pretty hard work. Some of them you have to really think about your thought processes and so on. It's quite difficult for some people, not like just taking a tablet. Um, the big problem with drugs is that, well, for some people they don't work and they can also have side effects. So these are all side effects that can happen. Um, these three are often caused by SSRIs um, and these ones are added as a result of um, if you have to go on and take uh, tricyclics, clomipramine. Um, so you can see disruption to blood pressure and heart rhythm, quite a significant side effect that you probably would not want. So there you go, that is biological treatments for OCD.